Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you my updated everyday makeup routine. Essentially I thought I would film a brand new one of these because we're pushing into spring now, the trends are changing and let's be honest, as a beauty blogger and a blogger in general, I get the opportunity to try out lots and lots and lots of different makeup products, some of which have actually made it into my everyday makeup routine and are very different from last time so I thought I would do an updated version, what products I've been absolutely loving as well. So I thought I would film this for you today. It's a much much quicker tutorial actually. I would just like to put a little disclaimer out there as well. I am not a makeup artist. I know everybody who's a blogger who does makeup says this but really I'm not. I do my makeup the way I like to do it. If it's not perfect and it's not the way um, makeup artists like to do it then that is completely fine because I have not been trained in makeup. I pick things up off the internet and I figure out ways to do things that I like to do it myself and I just kind of like do it like that. So I'm not a makeup artist and do not claim to be. I just like to create tutorials because I love makeup and I think that you guys like to see the products that I'm trying or at least I like to show you anyway whether you do or don't. So sorry about that if you don't like it but here we are anyway. Also just a little pointer as well. I received my first negative YouTube comment the other day which was a bit like oh well thanks very much. Um, I do YouTube basically because I enjoy it. It is a hobby of mine and I do not claim to be up there with the best vloggers, YouTubers in the entire world because they have a lot more time on their hands to do this kind of stuff and have a lot more better equipment and probably better cameras than me. I do this because I enjoy it and if you're going to sit there behind your little computer screens and be negative telling me I'm the worst vlogger and all this sort of stuff then honestly it's just not worth it because I do not claim to be. I have a full-time job in which I'm a nurse and work really really hard and I do this on the side as because I enjoy it so I would just like to put that out there before you guys think that you can comment anything negative on this video. For all of you though who do not comment negative stuff and comment lovely stuff, thank you so much. It means the world to me and I don't say it enough, but honestly, I really, really appreciate every single positive comment that I receive, every thumbs up I receive. I really do appreciate it. So I just wanna get that out there as well. Big love to you guys and I am focusing on you lot rather than the negative. Yeah, let's crack on with this video now. I've got lots of new products to show you. I'm gonna whiz through the bits that you've seen a million times, but focus a little bit more on the stuff that you haven't seen as much. So essentially this look is more of a kind of nude smoky eye with really nice highlight, quite natural highlight actually, and a really nice pink lip. You guys will know what this lipstick is, but I'm going to show you anyway. So let's crack on with the video. Okay then guys, firstly for this video you're going to have to excuse the face here and the hair. I have tried for about 20 minutes to try and get my hair into a decent up style, but it's just not playing ball today. So we're just rocking this until I've finished and then I'm probably going to do something with it. So excuse the hair. I'm so excited to get started with this video. I've got lots of new products to show you and lots of new ones that I'm loving, so we'll get started. So to start with, I have already put some serum on my skin. I at the minute using the White Company's serum by day, that's like my daytime so Sort of serum and I'm absolutely loving it. It's made my skin so much better. So I've actually applied that about five, 10 minutes ago and it's actually soaked into the skin. It's made it feel really firm and really smooth and I just absolutely love it. So if you've not checked out the White Company skincare yet, I've not, I've mentioned it loads. I will link it down below the blog post that I wrote about it. And there's also links on there for all of the products that I got sent and tried out and absolutely loved. So be sure to head over and to check out that post after you've watched this video. So to start with, I'm actually gonna go in with a trusty favorite product and one that you've seen a lot. So I'm just gonna whisk through this. The Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Skin Base, Face Base, Moisturizer stuff. Absolutely love this. I don't use this as often as I used to, but I do still love it all the same. So I'm just gonna whisk through this because we've seen this a million times. Next, I'm gonna go in with a product that's definitely gonna shock you guys that has appeared in my everyday makeup routine, but essentially I've mixed things up a lot lately and I've found new products that I am absolutely loving using and this is definitely one of them. So at the minute, I am using the MAC Pro Longwear SPF 10 foundation in the shade NW15 as my daily foundation. I absolutely love it. I've actually taken my Estee Lauder Double Wear out of my makeup bag, it's not even in there anymore to use for everyday use because I have absolutely been loving using this shade. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with my, ex my with my extremely mucky beauty blender. I apologize about that. All of my brushes need to clean. They were all cleaned just before I went to crack out. So what I'm gonna do is just apply this to the back of my hand, just a couple of pumps, and then I can apply more if need be. Essentially, just dab it into my beauty blender, into it like that, and then apply all over my skin. Okay then, and as this 
is my everyday makeup routine. I'm going to go in with two trusty favourite concealers, my Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 07 Warm Light and my Collection Last Imperfection concealer in the shade 1 Fair, I believe this is. So I'm going to go in with these. This one's for blemishes, this one's for underneath the eyes and both of these are amazing. So I'm just going to go in with these. You've seen this a million times, so I'm going to whiz through this bit as well. Next is another product that you've seen a million times, but I'm still trying to work my way through this. I do not understand how this powder has lasted me so long, but it's the Collection Last Imperfection perfection powder in the shade oh my gosh this is definitely wiped up here I've had this oh zero one fair as well so it's a light but literally I've hit pan on this so long ago and I kind of keep expecting it to like break in my bag and then for me to say goodbye to it it is a really good powder but do you know when you just kind of get a bit sick of a product and you're ready to try something new I just can't bring myself to throw it away though so I'm just going to apply this as a per usual, patting it all over my face and avoiding my nose. Next, I'm actually going to go in with a new product to my everyday makeup routine. And this is the Marc Jacobs 40 Mirage Filter Instamark Contour Palette. This is with the beautiful banana shade and the really nice contouring shade. I actually just use this as sort of a bronzer. I don't necessarily do it as like a contour through the day. It's quite a quick routine, this one. I just really like this bronzer because it's really cool toned. I don't really reach for the banana powder during the day. It's more like a nighttime powder me but this one is so good for like day-to-day -day use I absolutely love it it's really similar to my Bobbi Brown bronzer as well which you guys know I love so I just apply this onto my Real Techniques blush brush and just go in like any bronzer And just as the next step, I'm going to go in with a trusty favourite as well, which is the NYX Proof Fit Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. I'm just going to apply this all over the lid like usual, just ready for my eyeshadow to go in place. And next, and a product that you guys see that I use all the time, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Primer in the shade Top and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Brush in 12, I believe this is. So again, you guys have seen this a million times. I am so close to the bottom of this. It's ridiculous. I've actually got a new one, as you may have seen in my recent video, which was my new in products video, which if you haven't seen, I'll just link it above anyway. So you can head over and check that one out. But I absolutely love this eyeshadow eyebrow. I keep getting eyeshadow and eyebrow mixed up all the time. I absolutely love this product. So I'm just popping it onto the end of my brush and then I'm just gonna work it through my brows, brush through them first and then apply it. You guys don't need to see this because you've seen it a million times. So I'm gonna fast forward this bit. Okay then, and for this next section, I'm actually going to go in with a new product. Well, a very old but missed out product. The one that I had for a very long time but not really used for a long time. So this is the Naked Urban Decay Basics Palette. Um, you guys will have seen this on loads of people's channels, but it's essentially just the basics the basic matte shades from the original Urban Decay Naked palette. This one is just a fantastic day-to-day -day palette, really easy, travel size, very, very great palette. I'm using my Zoeva Luxe Crease Brush, 228 Luxe Crease Brush for this. It's a bit dirty again, because I've been doing this so much. But essentially, I'm actually gonna go in with the color Naked 2 to start with, and then faint over the top of it, and then I'm gonna use Foxy for the inner corner. So to start with, let's just start with Naked 2. I'm just gonna pop that all over this crease brush and pop this into the outer corner. I'm going to go in with the shade Faint, which is the darker brown shade colour. I'm going to pop that on the same brush and just go over the edge, sort of the outer corner, just to really define that smoky, everyday look. And the same on the other eye. Before we neaten all this up, I'm going to go in with the shade Foxy and what I'm actually going to do is apply this to the end of my finger and just run this through the inner corner and blend it into the middle before actually blending it with a brush. As I said, I'm just rubbing my finger into it, you get like a really good pigment with this palette, it's amazing. And then I'm just going to dab that all over the corner like so. And then next I'm going to take the blending brush that I just used and blend the whole thing together. And then 
I'm just going to neaten it up with my beauty blender. Next, I'm actually going to go in with a new favourite mascara, which you guys won't have seen on here before, but it is the Maybelline Big Eyes Volume Express Mascara in black, I believe, just noir black. So yeah, super black. It's got one end for your upper lashes, one end for your lower lashes. It's just great. Honestly, this is such a good mascara. I cannot recommend it enough. And it's super cheap as well. So I'm actually going to go in with the upper lash end and I'm going to apply that obviously to the upper lashes and then I'm going to go in with the other side for my lower lashes. True Match Highlight. This is such an amazing product, honestly. It's got some incredible cool toned shades in. It's got a blue, a white, and a peachy toned colour, and I absolutely love them. And the one I'm actually going to use is the white for this look because it goes brilliantly in the corner of your eyes and just really nice for a subtle highlight. I'm actually going to go in with my Spectrum Cosmetics Fan Brush. This is great for just really light dusting of highlight on your face, and I just absolutely love it. So I'm going to apply it to the brush first, pop it onto the high points of my face, including my Cupid Spot. Cupid's foot, Cupid's bow, nose, and then I'm going to actually use my finger to put it into the corner of my eyes. So let's just whiz it around. Balm. This is actually just the Baby Lips Lip Balm in the shade Pink Punch. Just going to apply this to the centre of my lips just to give them a little bit of moisture. I do not like the colour of this lip balm whatsoever, but it's just purely for the colour before I actually apply my lipstick. And now I'm going to apply my new favourite lipstick. I've been so desperate to show you guys what this one looks like when you apply it on camera. And this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Smooch obsessed with this lipstick you may well have seen it on my recent favorite lipsticks for february and i absolutely love it so it smells to me like strawberry milkshake but apparently the smell is vanilla but i absolutely love it all the same so i'm going to apply this all over my lips now as i said i absolutely love this product it creates the cutest pink color ever and i absolutely love it honestly just obsessed with this lip colour. I mean, it's so girly, so Barbie-ish. I really didn't think it would be a shade that I'd love, but I do actually love it. So, voila. That is my updated everyday makeup routine. I really hope that you have enjoyed this quicker, um, snappier tutorial. I have absolutely loved filming this one and I'm so glad that I have done because there's so many amazing products that I'm using at the minute that I feel like you guys just need to know about. So yeah, I will link everything down in the description bar for you all if you wanna go and grab things. I just really, really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a massive thumbs up for me. Click the subscribe button down below and it'll also be on screen now. And I will link two previous videos at the end of this video as well for you to go and choose which one you wanna go watch next. It might be a vlog, it might be a video, and I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed this. And I will see you guys soon. Bye! Mwah.